please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts in this video lecture i will explain you how to design the cable bridge by using statpro vi tai software so now we can see i was already done the modeling process of this particular cable building so initially i will explain you how to model this particular cable bridge by using statpro vi tai software then after that i will explain you how to analyze this particular structure by using stat software then after that i will explain you how to design this structure okay so this is my model i was already done so but i will explain you from starting point so here i am closing my stat pro software this time opening my stat software here so select the new project option select the spacing option initially we need to give the structure name just i am giving it as c option select your respective folder for saving the file select the length units will be in meter as well as the force units will be in kilo newton click on next option click on finish option so after that the software will be open here like this so initially we need to select the node point initially so here i am assuming the cable bridge will be consisting of height from the ground approximately 6 meter height so that's why just i am creating one node point here so for the cable bridge just i am assuming two lane road which is consisting of 6 meter for the each lane so for that reason only just i need to copy this respective node to z direction distance with varying intensity of 6 meter and 6 meter so for that just i am selecting snap node beam initially select the node cursor option select this particular node so click on the transitional repeat option we have to copy this particular section to z direction which is consisting of number of steps are 2 each will be consisting of 6 meter why because we are assuming that the span of the road will be consisting of 6 meter so click on the okay option now we can see it will create the node points here like this so now we have to copy this respective nodes in horizontal direction distance okay so for that go to select that transitional repeat option in x direction so here i am assuming the number of steps will be consisting of 18 each will be consisting of spacing of 4 meter click on okay now we can see it will create the node points here like this now we have to join this respective nodes with the help of the beams for that we have to select all the node points go to geometry option connect the beams along x direction distance so that it will connect the x direction again in the same process we have to connect the beams in z direction distance here like this now we have to add the slab section for this particular structure select the four node plate option select the first point second point third point fourth point select the plate cursor we have to copy this plates to the remaining steps here so for that just i am selecting here as transitional repeat which is consisting of approximately 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 17 17 17 numbers here okay just i am selecting 17 numbers each will be consisting of 4 meter distance click on okay option so that it will create the plates in horizontal again in the same process we have to select this select in z direction which is consisting of one step with the 6 meter distance here now you can see it will copy your properties here like this so initially i will measure the distance so starting point this is a starting point this is a 32 meter length again rest of the things will be comes under the 32 meter length okay so now we can see this is the uh, only the slab section and beam section now for this particular section we have to create the piers for that initially we have to select the corner node points for the respective center as well as the corner section so pier to pier distance just i am assuming here as 32 plus 4 which is approximately equal to 36 meter so just, just i am selecting copy option just i am creating paste nodes which is in y direction which is consisting of height from the ground is minus 6 now we can see it will copy the node points at the base here like this now we have to select all the nodes at the base we have to join these respective nodes with uh, piers go to geometry option connect beams along y axis distance now we can see it will connect here like this now we have to create the uh, cable sections here okay so for that just i am selecting the uh, fifth point here like this so just i am selecting another fifth point here like this in the same process i am selecting fifth point here like this again i am selecting fifth point here like this click on the copy option click on the paste nodes which is in y direction distance just i am assuming here as let us consider 12 meter height here okay now we can see it will create the 12 meter height center point for the cable again in the same process i am selecting these points click on copy option otherwise you can directly go to transitional repeat in y direction which is consisting of number of steps of 3 each will be consisting of 1 meter just i am assuming here click on okay now we can see it will create the points here like this after this we have to connect these points with the help of the cables so for that just i am selecting add beam command here just i am selecting the corner column corner section again i am connecting with the respective point here like this in the same process we have to join the point with the center one here like this again in the same process we have to join this 
to the right hand side section also now we can see i am adding here like this in the same process we have to add all the beam sections at the left hand side of the span again in the same process we have to add the, all the sections at the right hand side of the span now we can see here i was added are these sections now we have to add the beam sections for the particular uh, cables so for that just i'm selecting the front view with the help of the front view just i'm selecting the top beam here like this again i'm selecting the bottom beam here like this node point for the respective distance so we have to connect this with z direction geometry connect the beams along z direction distance here like this now we have to join this node points with the help of the vertical members also go to geometry connect beams along y axis now we can see it will connect here like this so now after this we have to add the beam sections for this particular uh, pier so for that just i'm initially i'm creating a node point just i'm creating a node point which is at a distance of 4 meter from the ground just i'm creating here like this just so here i'm selecting node point here like this now we can see it will select the node point go to click on geometry create uh, connect to beams along z axis now we can see it will connect the beams here like this okay so after this we have to assign the properties for this particular structure so for that initially we have to go to click on general option select the property option in this initially i am defining the column which is consisting of pier of approximately 1.5 meter click on add option again in the same process i am selecting the uh, remaining sections of the vertical member of the column let let us consider here as uh, again i am selecting beam size of 0.5 cross 0.5 rectangular property click on add option after this we have to create the slab thickness so here i am assuming slab thickness will be consisting of 250 mm click on add option so after this we have to add the cable section cable is nothing but the tendon section which is generally used in the cable bridge structure but instead of adding the cable section just i am adding the steel section why because there is no option for designing of the cable in the start process software that's why i am adding the uh, steel section here okay so for that just i am selecting steel database here okay just i am selecting here so here in this case we have to select the indian standard system again in this i am selecting angle section from this angle section just i am assuming the section which is consisting of 150 cross 150 cross 25 let us assume here 20 otherwise 150 cross just i am taking basic section of 150 150 20 add option here so just i am adding here close option so now we have to select the circular section so we have to select the front view otherwise you can directly go to the top view by using control option we have to select the peers here like this now we can see it will select all the peers here like this right click on assign to select a beam assign option yes option select the beams here go to select geometry connect uh, select geometry so otherwise you can directly select the front view just you have to select the all the beam sections here like this now you can see it will select all the beams click on assign to select the beams assign yes option select the plate thickness option assign to view option assign yes option now we have to select the isa section go to select option by missing attribute section missing property now we can see rest of the section will be selected so except the beam sections uh, we have to assign for the all the remaining sections but here in this case in the side view we have to give the property for this particular sections also which is related to the secondary beams for the peers so for that just i am selecting the beam here select the side view option select this particular member here so click on assign to selected beams option assign option yes option now we have to select the isa section go to select by missing attribute section missing property here like this click on assign to selected beams assign yes option okay now after this we have to assign the support conditions select the create option add your fixed support condition select the support to with the help of the front view we have to select all the node points at the base so click on assign to selected nodes option assign option yes option so after this we have to assign the uh, load cases for this particular structure okay so for the um, cable bridge structure it will be consisting of the loads related to dead loading condition live loading condition as well as the moving load condition also okay but uh, if you assign the moving load conditions uh, for this particular bridge structure there will be a chance of failing the structure why because here in this case we are considering only the basic considerations that's why i am taking only the two condition systems which is related to uh, one is related to dead loading condition and another one is related to live loading condition so in my upcoming video i will explain you how to add the moving loading condition system for the bridge structure you can follow that video so i will post uh, as soon as possible related to how to add the moving load condition for the building uh, bridge structure so initially i am selecting dead load we can add 
Firstly, I will add the dead loading condition system, which is related to DL option add. So again, in the same process, I'm adding the live loading condition system, which is related to LL and add option, close option. Select the dead loading condition, click on add button, add your self weight. Then after that, we have to add the member weight, which is related to parapet wall load. So obviously bridge will be consisting of some parapets here. So if you consider with bridge uh, uh, parapet wall with the help of the brick structure, we have to calculate the individual weight of that particular member also. If you take the thickness of that particular, which is consisting of 0.125 multiplied by uh, height is 1.2 meter. If you multiply this respected value with 20 unit weight of the brickwork so that it will give the values 3 here. So we are assuming the value is minus 3, click on add option. Select the self weight option. By using assign to view option, we have to assign this property for the building. So after this, we have to assign the member weight. So member weight is related to the walls, which is exist at this level. Okay, parapet wall, which is exist at this level. So click on assign to selected beams, assign yes option. Then after that, we have to assign the live loading condition system. Go to select option. So we have to select the floor load, which is related to let us consider minus four, which is acting at a distance of minimum of three as well as six here. Okay, so maximum of six. You have to enter the zero also. No problem with the minimum distance. Okay, but we have to enter the maximum distance will be six here. Click on okay. So now we can see it will assign the live loading condition which is of minus four kilonewton per meter square here like this. Now we have to add the load combinations. For that, go to click on the load cases details. Click on add option. Now we have to select the auto load combination which is related to Indian standard system. Click on generate option so that it will generate the load combinations here like this. Now we have to analyze the structure, go to analysis and print, add your no print, close option, go to analyze, run analysis, save here. Now here we have to check for the zero errors for the bridge structure. Now we can see here my model is obtained with zero errors. Go to post processing mode option, click on run option, apply your load cases, click on OK. So now we have to see the deflection diagram for the building structure, sorry, bridge structure. So now we can see this is the deflection diagram related to bridge structure. Due to the presence of the dead live loading condition, it is failing here like this. Due to the presence of the live uh, dead loading condition, it is failing here like this. Then after that, we have to see the uh, shear force diagram. So for that, just we have to deselect this, select the FY value. This is the shear force diagram. Again, we can select the bending one diagram. So after that, we have to see the plate pressure also for the particular section. Select the plate option. Select the absolute pressure, which is related to dead load. Apply OK option. Now we can see this is the maximum absolute pressure, which is related to the bridge structure. Okay. So after that, we have to design this bridge structure related to steel designing section as well as the concrete design section. So for that, just I'm selecting modeling option here. Select the design option. Firstly, we have to select the IS codal provision star net system related to the concrete member. So here we have to select the concrete. Then after that, we have to select the IS codal provision standard system IS456. Firstly, we have to select the parameters. From these parameters, initially we need to deselect all these. Compressed strength, yield strength, we have to select yield strength of shear reinforcement, maximum main, maximum second. Click on OK. Click on define parameters. For this particular member, just I'm adding M30 grade of concrete provision, M30,000. Again, in the same process, I'm adding the grade of the concrete is 500,000, 500, 1, 2, 3,000. Click on add option. Section reinforcement, again, in the same process, I'm adding 500,000. Click on add option. Select maximum main, which is related to 20 mm diameter bar, add button. Section reinforcement, 12 mm diameter bar, add button, close option. Select the comments option, click on add beam command option firstly, select the add uh, column command, slab element command, again last one is related to takeoff command, close option. Now we have to assign this question marks. So select the FC value, just we have to select the front view, we have to select all the components at this level. Okay. So but if you select these components, if you, uh, there is a no option to select the plate cursor, that's why just I am simply assigning just a, as view option. Click on OK. So after defining the steel section, we can assign the steel section property for the remaining uh, cable sections. Okay. Select the FI main by using assign to view, we can assign to the property. Again, in the same process, I am selecting assign to view for this particular section. Select the assign to view for the maximum main. Again, we have to select the sec assign to view for this particular section. Now we have to select the beam. Just we have to select the beam sections at this level. Again, in the same process, we have to select the side view. So we have to select the beam sections at this level. Okay. So click on assign to selected beams, assign option, yes option. Select the columns. We have to select the top view for this particular structure. So select this number here like this, member here like this, member here like this. Again, I'm selecting member, member. Click on assign to selected beams option here. Assign option, yes option. Select element here, assign to view, assign yes option here. Okay. So after that, we have to design the steel structure also. 
so for that just i'm selecting steel which is related to is 800 lsd section is 800 lsd section select the parameters initially we need to deselect the parameters from these parameters we have to pick yield strength as well as the track parameter these two are important so click on add option so here i'm adding fe 500 grade steel again i'm adding track parameter which is related to the maximum print level just i'm selecting comments option add check code command again in the same process we have to add a uh, member take off command add option select option add option so take off option add option close option so we have to select the question marks here for assignment so select the front view option so we have to select all the uh, members which is on the top related to the cables so cl click on assign to selector beams option assign option yes option in the same process we have to select the track parameter also for the cables only so assign to selected cables assign check code also same for this particular section assign to selected yes option select member take off just i am adding here like this again i am adding the select option just i am selecting the front view here like this again in the same process take off option steel take off click on assign to selected plates option assign yes option so after that we have to analyze the structure so before that i will show you the rendering view so this is the rendering view for the cable bridge structure so it will be consisting of the steel members as a cable here we are assumed that okay so these are the piers and these are the supporting beams and this is a slab section so go to analysis and print again add here close here analyze option run analysis save here so now we have to check for the zero errors again for this particular member but now we are you can see it is having the four errors but we will check whether it is what is the error related to this particular designing it was obtained with four errors 27 warnings we will see in output file what are the errors click on output file click on done option so select the errors option so here in this case we have to select this errors now we can see here the error is showing the moment the design moment exceeds the limiting moment of the resistance of the element number some members are exceeding the high amount of the moment value that's why it is showing the error but the results will be shown for the particular members okay so if you want to rectify those errors you have to follow the uh, another dimensions of the piers as well as the beam sections as well as the column section for the particular structure so now i will show you the reinforcement design results for the columns beams and everything so here i am selecting beam number so click on the concrete design so now we can see for this respected concrete number it will be consisting of the bar numbers of 15 members which with the diameter of the bar here like this and this is the percentage of the steel and is this is a area requirement again in the same process i will show you the beam design design is just i'm selecting here double click on it click on the concrete design so now we can see it will show you the beam reinforcement design results for this particular section okay so again in the same process you can see the cables designs also just i'm selecting here click on the steel design section so it will show you the complete reinforcement design results regarding the cable bridge so in the same process you can see the output file it will be consisting of each and individual calculation sheet part again results part for the concrete designing section as well as the uh, steel designing section okay so this is a complete process of designing of uh, cable bridge by using stat pro vti software if you are having any queries about this video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that i will give you the answer for that particular questions if you like this video please click on like button if you not yet subscribe to my channel please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics thank you